Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Alternations. Alternations is a solitaire card game, and the objective of the game is to build 8 foundation piles up from Ace to King using two standard 52 card decks. In terms of setting the game up, um, at the beginning, you deal 7 cards into 7 piles. In each pile, um, alternate cards are turned face up leaving the remaining cards face down. These set of piles will be referred to as the tableau. So seven cards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In seven piles. Um, and so you start with the bottom card face up, right? Then the next row of cards is face down, face up, face down, face up, face down, face up. You know you have set up the alternating pattern correctly if the bottom card of each tableau pile is face up and the top card of each tableau pile is face up. And so a way to remember this game is that you have the 7-7 seven, seven configuration with the alternating cards, right? So it is a quite neat configuration here. And so the remaining cards will then be placed into a stockpile. Uh, you'll start off with an empty waste pile here. Um, and then as well as eight empty foundation piles and the waste pile and the empty foundation piles will be filled up as the game goes on. So on the tableau, uh, cards are played in descending order uh, with alternating colors, meaning you can play a card on another card if it is one rank lower and of the opposite color. This eight of spades is one rank lower than the nine of hearts and it is a, and is of the opposite color. So we can go ahead and play it like so. This three of diamonds is one rank lower than this four of spades. And it is of the opposite color. So we can go ahead and play it like so. Right? So that's essentially how you play cards through the tableau. Um, whenever a card is moved from one pile of the tableau to another. So note how this we are moving this three. Um, the next top card is flipped face up. Right? If it is face down. So notice how that nine of spades is face down. When we move the three of diamonds, it gets exposed, so we flip it face up. Now, do note that an empty pile in the tableau, if you get into that situation, um, it can be filled with any cards or any sequence of cards, right? So you can basically fill it with anything. So do note that you can draw from the stockpile anytime, and that deals one card face up onto the waste pile. Um, Note that you are only allowed to go through your stockpile once. You cannot flip it back over to redeal. No redeal is allowed. So far, the game's pretty pretty simple. Um, and so foundation piles start from ace and build up to king, right? Um, playing cards of the same suit that's standard with uh, any solitaire really. And the top card of the waste pile uh, can be played to the tableau or the foundation piles. So. The rules are quite simple, right? You win the game if you get all the cards moved into the foundation piles. Um, and that's pretty much it. What we'll do now is we'll do a hopefully quick demo round, although we are playing with two decks. And so a game with two decks takes twice the amount of time as a regular solitaire game. So we'll try our best to demonstrate a little bit at least. Um, but that's essentially it for the rules. If you just wanted the rules, then free feel, to, feel free to stop watching. Uh, but other than that, let us continue. So we want to go for the aces, right? Um, what we'll do is we'll, I guess we'll go like so. You know, do note that you can move entire piles of cards as well, right? There's no restriction on that um, in case anybody was wondering. So we'll simply continue making moves here. So, so we've got an ace. That's nice. That'll allow us to free up this next ace. So that's also great. Um, let us just continue playing here, though. But 
10. We're getting a lot of jacks here, but we cannot really play them. 7. Two diamonds, great. Three of diamonds. Yes. Right, so as you can see, uh, the game itself is not too bad. Um, but it is, it looks like it's not that hard to win, but in terms of, in terms of playing, it's not too hard, but in terms of winning, it is actually uh, quite, quite hard. Uh, so don't underestimate it. So we got another ace. Let's move it. All right, we continue playing. Oh, we've got a three of clubs. That's a nice card. Won't be able to make use of it right now. As well as the four of clubs. So... As well as the four of hearts, we can make use of that. And we can move that three of spades. That gives us the two of hearts, which I guess could be moved right there. Um, but other than that, is there any move that could be made, really? Nope. Not a real plausible move that could be made. Another ace. That's great. Two of spades. That's great. Is there a three of spades? There is. You have to try to move this two somehow. How are we going to do that? Um, I'm not quite unsure. We'll continue going through the deck. Another ace. Okay, so that's how we'll move that three. Okay. Got the three of hearts. Four of hearts. Four of spades, right? So as you can see, once you get into a bit of a rhythm here, you can quickly start unloading cards. Um, right, so it, it is not too bad in that regard. I'm hopefully not missing out on any cards. I always, when I go back and watch these, I do indeed end up missing out on a lot of plausible moves that could be made, so I do apologize. But it's hard to see all of them when you are trying to play as quick as you can. Jack. Ten. Nine. Okay, well, do we go ahead and move that nine? No. Nope. So, we'll undo that move. Right, just to so see if we have a beneficial card there. So, I use the undo there to my advantage. That's up to you if you want to be able to undo right you can reverse a move if you'd like um but just make sure that you remember the move it was right in this case it's easier because it is uh, electronic so we'll continue playing here seven where's it eight of space hearts eight of space yeah i feel like i was Missing out on that move the entire time. So that's unfortunate. Oh, eight of hearts. That's nice. Four of diamonds. Five of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Um, okay. Oh, I can move the nine of hearts there. Why aren't I doing that? See, I do some silly things sometimes in that I go and miss blatantly obvious moves. I feel like I could have won this game too if I was paying attention to every single move. Uh, but just in terms of uh, conciseness, I want to try to maintain a reasonable pace here. Uh, but in real solitaire, you should not be flipping through the deck as fast as this. Um, if you're playing to try to win, because uh, it's a bad strategy. Uh, looking there.
Do note that you can only move entire piles of cards if they are ordered in the sequence, right? So this queen and seven, they aren't in sequence, so we can't move that entire pile there, right? But this queen, jack, 10, 9, 8 are, and so we can indeed make that move there. So that's just a little thing to watch out for as well. Uh, will the queen of diamonds really help us? No. But we do want to try to get to those cards there. I think I'm about to go through the entire deck, unfortunately. Without much to show for her because I'm not playing as well as I should be. Um, Nine of Spades is right there. Can we get to it somehow? Okay. Yeah, no, this is not really working right now. Um, but it's okay. We'll keep playing just for the sake of playing. Beautiful seven. Now we gotta try to move this seven. Ah, uh, this is hard. This is hard. I want to get to that eight. I cannot. Finally, a two of diamonds. Ah, oh, this four of diamonds, I'll open on that five. Seven of speeds. Um, six. Nope. Oh yes, ten, finally. Move this uh, jack. Will that do anything really? Not sure. At least put that queen on. Um, right, so if you do strictly pay attention to every move that you can make, uh, then the game isn't too, too hard to win, but it does have some reasonable uh, level of difficulty here still. Um, and I'm simply just playing a bit carelessly right now, so it's not the best strategy here. I think I'm about to exhaust the entire deck, and so once I do, I'll essentially be stuck. I'd have lost the game. Um, eight, two, yeah, so <laughs> we're essentially stuck here. Uh, we've pretty much lost the game, uh, but let us just see if any move can be made, really. This is why you don't go through the deck as fast as I do, because, um, it's not a good, uh, not a good strategy. So that essentially shows how to play alternations, right? It's not too hard. Uh, once again, uh, let's just uh, go through the game here, right? Setting it up. Seven cards each into seven piles. Um, face up, face. Start the bottom card should be face up. The top card should be face up, right? Alternate face up and face down through the piles. Um, you have an empty waste pile, you can go through it once, drawing one card at a time. You have your eight empty foundation piles that are built from ace to king. And that's pretty much it, right? So I hope you learned how to play alternations, um, and thank you for watching.